Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 3. My name is Franny and today I have some Christmas audiobook recommendations for you guys. I love listening to audiobooks, that's how I read, not the majority, but a lot of books every year, so I thought that I might recommend you some audiobooks that you can listen to, that you're still in time to listen to, to get in the Christmas spirit. I have three YA audiobooks that I'm going to recommend to you guys, and then two adult fiction audiobooks. So without further ado, let's get started. The first honestly is a no-brainer, everybody knows it, I'm just going to mention it. It is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. This is the quintessential YA Christmas book and I listened to a sample of the audiobook and I really liked the narrators, so I think that even as an audiobook might be a perfect Christmas read. The second audiobook I'm going to recommend is another one that was very famous either last year or two years ago and it is The Afterlife of Holy Chase by Cynthia Hand. And this is basically a Christmas Carol um, retelling where the the main protagonist, Holly, is 17 and on the night of, you know, Christmas Eve, between Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, she is visited by the three ghosts, but she ignores them, she goes on with her life and then she dies. And now in her afterlife, she's part of this company, The Scrooge Project, and I think she is the ghost of Christmas present and every year she goes to visit other people and tries to help them get better, tries to make them understand that they need to change their life, that they need to be better. I was so skeptical when I started listening to this audiobook. Let's say that it's nine hours long, I don't exactly remember. Let's say that it's nine hours long. For seven hours I kept being skeptical but I was intrigued at the same time and then the last part just... I don't know what happened, it moved me. I cried. I cried at the end and I think that it captures the spirit of Christmas, of being better, trying to be better, trying to help other people and I just, I loved it and so I recommend it. And the last YA audiobook I would recommend is Together at Midnight by Jennifer Castle. In this book we have two main characters, Kendall and Max. Kendall and Max and they are kind of friends of friends but one day they meet and they witness a tragic accident. They were standbyers, they didn't intervene, they didn't try to stop what was happening which led to an accident where someone went into a hospital and this person might die. After that accident they feel guilty because they feel like they might have done something and they didn't and that's why the accident itself happened and so they decided to perform seven acts of random kindness between Christmas and the New Year day and the book is all about that and it wasn't perfect but again I think it captures more or less the Christmas spirit of wanting to be better. There's also some LGBT content in the background which I didn't mind at all so again if you want a light-ish Christmas read and you want to listen to a YA book, I would definitely recommend it. Now moving on to the adult fiction audiobooks. The first one that I would definitely, definitely, 100% wholeheartedly recommend is The White Christmas Inn by Colleen Wright. This book basically takes place in an inn and ah, gosh just the descriptions you guys of that inn I just it's the place where I would love to spend my Christmas with all the decorations, that warmth, the chimney, an innkeeper that bakes you cookies and goodies of all kinds. It's just the perfect Christmas setting but this inn has recently had some money issues therefore it's about to close. The innkeeper and her husband decide to keep it open for one last Christmas. Then a huge snowstorm hits New England and so all the guests get stuck in this inn and they have to spend Christmas all together and you get to meet all these wonderful characters that have, you know, different backgrounds and different problems in their lives that they're trying to deal with and it's just so sweet and magical and it has like 
the perfect Christmas atmosphere so I would 100% recommend it. The narrator was so good. I, I just I, I just loved it. I, I just did. And last but not least I have A Long Way Down by Nick Hornby. I don't know if this is like the perfect Christmas book. It takes place from New Year till I think Valentine's Day or a little bit after that so it's kind of the period but not quite but again it has that message of hope of being there for each other of togetherness and i think that's what christmas is all about at the end and basically there are these four different characters who are very different from one another but they're all depressed randomly on the new year they go to this rooftop because they want to jump they want to kill themselves and so they kind of strike a pact. They decide not to kill themselves that day to try and help each other for some time and then if nothing changes by Valentine's Day or something like that then they will jump. I liked how you see how there can be different kinds of depression and I just I, I just loved it. I loved how it was done and I also watched the movie and the movie was incredible. I definitely recommend you guys watch it and yeah this is my last audiobook recommendation. I hope you guys will listen to one of these audiobooks. If you have any recommendations for me, please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to discover more good Christmas audiobooks to listen to either this year or the next. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please like, subscribe, anything you'll do will be very much appreciated and I'll see you tomorrow for another Christmas Vlogmas Bookmas video where I'll be sharing with you my Christmas TBR, my TBR for the rest of the year. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Warm hugs!